soon found herself harmonizing with one of the legendary groups of all time. Cindy, performing here on the left, joined the Supremes in 1967 at the peak of their glamour and fame. She still can't believe how their music has endured. I never imagined that we would be able to hear our songs on the radio any given day of the week. 30 years later. She's still friendly with fellow Supremes Diana Ross and Mary Wilson, though her own life has changed dramatically. I'm no longer with the Supremes, but I do worship the real Supremes now. We have a work to do, all of us, a mighty work to do. And that's the Cindy has become an evangelical minister working with the homeless wherever she goes. She and her friend Rochelle Lander believe they have a special calling. And we give them the word of our testimony. We don't we preach to them. God tells us we're, we're not to preach to them because many people are offended by that. But every nation, every town will welcome a song. And we sing them the word of God. For greater love no They don't sing traditional hymns. Cindy uses her musical talents to put Bible verses to song, and she's helping encourage young people find new ways to celebrate their faith. Praise to the Lord now, say. Her new life may seem a stark contrast to her supreme career, but Cindy believes even her celebrity is part of God's plan. I believe the Lord allowed me to go through all those things to bring me to this point today to serve Him. And I believe Diana and Mary are coming too. In the name... In the name of the Lord.